Hey, what's going on guys? Heads here from Infinity Loops, and today we take a look at Newbie Drones, new-ish, Mosquito XL BL V3 2S Bind and Fly. This quad comes with Newbie Drones BL V3 flight controller, not the newest BL V4. So this has a built-in VTX that goes up to 120 watts, and my version here is FR Sky. It is using Newbie Drones Flow 1102 motors. These are 10,000 kV. They are spinning the Gemfan 2.5 inch biblades. Looks like the Newbie Drone BI camera in there. My favorite. And the Goober Canopy is holding the BI. This is also running a GMB27 connector, so be aware of that, that this does run 2S GMB27 batteries, which the only ones that I could find readily available were, conveniently, Newbie Drones, Nitro Nectar, GMB27 2S 300 milliamp. So I bought a few of those just so I'd be able to fly this thing. Also had to make a little adapter for uh, switching the XT30 to a GMB27 just so I could actually charge the batteries. But since we got it all bound up, we got our batteries in and now charged, let's take it outside, give her a few rips, and then we'll talk about it a little more. I think this might be the best one I've ever gotten tune-wise. This flies really sharp. Uh, the tune is very tight. It doesn't flutter too hard when I get into my weird snappy rewind stuff. Running these GMB27 batteries, the 2S, is pretty nice. I get about four and a half to five minute flight times, depending. I'm flying in quite a bit of wind here this time of year, so all of these open prop flights that I've been doing recently have been kind of short, but that's also somewhat to blame on uh, just the weather that we have here. But overall, the power train on it is excellent. It's very good. I, it's a solid little bind and fly toothpick you can just pick up 
and uh, and take to the park and, and rip and it's fun. You can rip around your front yard. It doesn't feel very intimidating in the air. You got a lot of playroom with your throttle, but you also don't feel oversized. You don't feel like you're you're out there, you know, ripping around something that's gonna destroy like a car window or anything. It feels very nimble in the air. It doesn't feel very heavy. Now on to my absolute favorite thing ever: the BI camera and whatever VTX is in here or whatever they're doing with the OSD. I, I've never liked it. I still don't. Uh, I'm not sure how many people enjoy that, but for comparison, I, I just did a quick flight on my normal Whoop with my Pico Razor camera in there, the Foxier Razor, and uh, just for comparison so you can see the difference of how dark this camera is. I believe it's the OSD overlay they're using. It's not exactly uh, see-through completely. It's almost like it's like gray and see-through, if that makes sense. I don't, there, it puts a tint over your whole screen. So I, I've never liked that about their quads when you mix their camera and VTX. I'm not sure about the camera by itself, if you just put that on like a normal VTX and anything else, if it'll give you the same issue. I, probably not, I'm assuming. I, I feel like it d does have something to do with the OSD. I've thought that this flight controller in the past is pretty solid, it's expensive but it is a pretty solid flight controller. I've never had issues with it. The VTX is strong enough. It's 120 milliwatts. It's not the highest rated all-in-one VTX, but it's also not that bad, especially if you're just kind of ripping around the park or, or your front yard. I guess if I had to search for one other gripe with it, I'd say I don't really care for the GMB27 connector that much. Nothing wrong with the connector. I actually feel like they have improved it since the last time I tried them maybe a year ago. However, it is still pretty difficult to find options for batteries out there, especially when you're looking at a GMB27 2S battery. They did have the suggestion of attaching a Runcam Thumb Pro to the top of this. I don't actually own one of those, so I didn't try that, but I'm sure that this could carry a little extra weight on it if you wanted to put an action camera on it. Not really sure how much freestyling you'll be doing with it. You'll probably be able to cruise really well though and get some good shots. You've now heard my opinion on it, and I would love to hear yours. Do you plan on buying one? Have you already bought one? What do you think of it? Any improvements you could see on here that I may have missed? Anything you agree with, disagree with? I'd love to hear it all in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching guys. Take care of yourselves and we will see you in the next one.